feel like I haven't done a video where I'm properly sitting down and talking to you guys in front of the camera by myself at least because I do have sit and talk with my girl Angel. But I haven't done a video where I'm like just casually talking alone to you guys and I have to say it feels good to do this again. Um, if you guys don't know, a lot of people are like, you've been in my A. I've been here. I've been on the other channel. Everyday Shari J channel where I'm vlogging daily. And that's where I've been. So if you guys think it's quiet around these parts, check out the other channel because I'm vlogging every day. And it is so hard to edit every single day. I didn't even realize. But I'm sticking with it because I'm actually going to do Vlogmas. So even after my birthday on the December on December 8th, I will still be vlogging every day. So make sure you check it out. See if you like it. Something new, it's something different. But I've been enjoying it. It's, it's definitely hard, but I've been enjoying it. But anyway, this video is about a beauty makeup haul. Um, if you guys don't know, Sephora had their VIB sale where you get 20% off the entire site. A couple weeks back, I think it's been about two weeks, um, but everything that I wanted was not in the store. I was so pissed. Um, so I had to order everything online, and it took a week to get here, and then next week, obviously, I was just full on holiday mode, had a lot going on, so I didn't get a chance to film this video, but I'm filming it today, so let's get into it. Um, I do have some stuff from Ulta as well, and a couple things um, that I got before the VIB sale that I'm just going to throw in here as well, so if you guys like makeup and beauty, then you should like this video. So the first thing that I was excited to finally try at Sephora was the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Oh my goodness. Everybody and their mama on YouTube raves about this foundation. So I was so excited to finally get this in my hands. But of course, you know, I go to Sephora. They don't have it in stock. But I went over to Nordstrom, which is right next door. And I was happy that they did have like the little counter because I was able to swatch myself. And I am shade 11.5. And this is a perfect color match for me. And I actually had one that's a little darker too. I was really surprised. Because usually when it comes to foundation, I'm like the last shade available. Like, that's it. <laughs> I'm the darkest one. So I was really, it was really cool that they had another one that was like one up. You know, just in case some of you guys out there who might be a little darker than me. You know, you can still get your hands on this. I do like it. This is my second time trying it though. I'm actually wearing it right now and I really do like it um but the first time I wore it I broke out don't know if it if it was because of this because I also tried something else but I'm definitely going to take a look at my skin once I take this off tonight to see um how it's doing but I hope and I pray to God that it's not this because I love this foundation just my second time trying it out so I'm still you know testing the waters but so far so good next thing that I got is the Giorgio Armani Aqua De Gio. I seriously do not know how to say this. I always ask people at Sephora. They always tell me it's something else. I think it's Aqua De 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 Digual. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you guys are like, you should not have pronounced stuff now, Shari. You've been doing this for a long time. I have, but I, I have a problem. But yes, this is a gift set that they have it says it's it's online but every time I check like the Sephora app yes they have an app get your life it's awesome um it says it's in store but I, I went to several stores I even went to Toronto and they didn't have this in stock so I'm, I'm maybe it's only online but anywho I this is my favorite scent ever my favorite scent for the last few years and this is what you get You get the biggest size perfume, you get a 2.5 ounce uh, body lotion, and you get two roller balls. So I had to get this. Um, this was like a birthday gift to myself because it is pricey. This was this set was $95, but this by itself is about $80. So the fact that you're getting all this other stuff for $95, I mean, you can't beat it. So yeah, this was the birthday gift to myself. And when I got this, I just almost cried like... <sighs> 
Next thing that I got from Sephora, this is the Sephora um, cream lip stain. But when I went to Sephora, I got two cream, mm, two other lip products. I forget what they were. I will annotate it in the video. But yeah, I didn't like those two products, so I took it back and I got this instead. I wanted to get two colors, but the other color that I wanted was sold out. But everybody raised about these cream lip stains. I tried this color on and it was okay. I'm not sure if I love it on me. I'm just going to try to play around with the color because I'm not sure if I if I love it just yet. Another thing that I got from Sephora is this Bobbi Brown foundation brush. Now, I've been wanting to try out this brush for such a long time because a lot of people rave about it. They say it's great. And I'm not a really like a huge Bobbi Brown fan. Um, I've tried a couple of their concealers and they worked pretty well, but I've never like went beyond that. But yeah, uh, a lot of people really rock this brush and I really like foundation. So I was like, I'm going to try this brush and it's really soft. This is the second one that I got because the one that came in my package, it was like some white hairs um, coming out of the side. And I was just like, mm mm. I paid too much money for this brush to have any imperfections, okay? So I took it back and I just got this one from the actual store. I went to the store and swapped it out. I like that it's rather short, but the bristles are so soft. But I haven't tried it yet, so I will definitely come back and let you guys know how I feel about it. And the last Sephora purchase is actually a purchase from a couple maybe a month ago it's the Bobby Brown University lip palette and I actually talked about this on Instagram and I was like oh my god when I saw the Sephora email I lost my mind I was like I have to have that and I did I went out and bought this palette I'm definitely gonna use this soon the shades are gorgeous. I feel like I can make my own lipstick with this palette. And I love, lips are everything to me. So the fact that you have some plums in here, some reds, some browns, okay, or one with a little shimmer. Um, I'm definitely going to get down with this. I cannot wait to use it. And I love that it's a huge mirror as well. So I can, you know, do my makeup on the go, whatever. It's just amazing. This palette is everything and I can't wait to try it out. I also have a couple things from Ulta as well and the first thing is the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. Came in this little box right here. Now let me talk about my lashes a little bit. I don't have on lashes right now. My lashes are okay but I feel like they're not they just don't do much for me and I always have a really hard time finding mascara that works that gives it lift that gives it volume without it being too comely. I just I have issues with mascaras and I've never found one that I have been, you know, in love with. So when I kept seeing people talk about this mascara, I was just like, you know what, I'm going to get it. Then I saw the price and I was like, <laughs> no, <laughs> like $23 for a mascara is ridiculous. I've never paid more than like six dollars for mascara because I always go to the drugstore so it took a lot for me to get this but every time I would tell somebody I was interested in getting it they say you have to get it it's amazing so I finally got it and it really is amazing I really do like this mascara however I find that because it's just so much product like it's just it's such it's so much it's a lot going on in this mascara it bleeds down onto my lower lash line and I have like raccoon eyes after just a few hours of wearing it. And I did talk to somebody at Sephora and they told me that I could wear like an eye cream. And maybe that like should help the problem. I don't know if that's going to work. But I'm definitely going to try it out. She did give me the Bobbi Brown eye cream. She said it's like the best eye cream ever. So I'm going to try that out see if it works. But I don't know if it will work. I think it's just a lot of mascara for my lashes. Um... But we'll see. The next thing I got from Ulta was this NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lip Lipstick. And this is basically with the whole matte lip trend going on. And, <sighs> whew. Okay, so I didn't know for sure. I was like, let me just try it. I'm not a huge fan of NYX. 
um, hit or miss basically with NYX. But this stuff is absolutely amazing. I wore it in my last tutorial that I posted yesterday. It's just phenomenal. It stays on very long. However, I will say the next day after I wore this, um, I was vlogging and it looked like I had like a, I bit my lip or something because it was in the middle. It was like stained and I was like, oh shoot, you know, I didn't realize that this was going to leave my lips stained. But I just bought this Bite Beauty. I have a Sephora addiction. I'm just going to put it out there. I ain't even lying. Like, I have a problem with Sephora. But I just bought this Bite Beauty set that has these lip wipes that's supposed to take off, like, any stains or anything that you use in your lips that's supposed to last long. Um, so we'll see if that works because, yeah, that's not a cute look. Thinking you look like you got punched in the face or punched in the lip or, you know, bit your lip and permanent red stain it's not cool but other than that I really do love this and I I don't think these are expensive I want to say they're less than seven dollars and I'm definitely going to go back and get more especially if this one from Sephora doesn't work because I think this was thirteen dollars and this was less than seven so you do the math the next thing that I got from Ulta was this Tweezerman file buff and shine I can't I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this is called a nail block go and I've never been like really fussy with my nails before. I never really took care of them. I mean, they're looking crappy right now. But I want to take more, better care of them. And I know Tweezerman is a really nice brand, so that's why I got this. Because I bought this nail block at Meijer, just like randomly looking through the beauty aisles. And I think it was like $5 or something like that. And I didn't really think that nail products really matter when it came to quality because they're nail products but once I use this a few times I realized that quality probably does matter because this is just not the best quality it's cute but it's not the best quality so that's why I got Tweezerman because I know they're a, tr a trusted brand let me know if you guys have used this product before from Tweezerman because I would love to hear your thoughts another product that I got not from Ulta but from Target but I'm just gonna snip like put this in here because you can get this at Ulta but it's cheaper at Target just you know FYI is the Real Techniques core collection and the only reason why I got this honestly is because of the buffing brush you can't get the buffing brush by itself which I still don't understand why 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 I do this to us um because I didn't really need any other products I gave my sister the pointed foundation brush that came with this because I have one before and you know I had a set before but I lost the buffing brush I think in Charlotte or somewhere in South Carolina I lost it um, and I just have never like decided to buy this again but I decided to buy it again and I also needed the lip pencil because I only have well it's a detailer brush but I used it for a lip pencil but since I'm going to be using this I wanted to have another one just in case the other one is dirty or what have you so yeah I got this and like I said it's much cheaper at Target I think it's like three dollars cheaper it's $13.18 I think at Target and it's like $15 or $17 at Ulta. And lastly I bought some stuff from Amazon. The first thing I got was the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Everybody was raving about this so I had to get on board and buy it. Especially since my Ben Nye banana powder is completely gone. And I've, been, I've only used this twice so far but I really really do like it. Um, they were selling it online on the Sasha site for $20, but the shipping was $7.95. And then it says something like, you know, use our Amazon link. And I went to Amazon and it was $5. And plus you could use your Prime because I, I have, I'm a Prime member. So I was able to get this for $25 and get two day shipping, which was really nice. However, if you bought it from the site, you can get it like a free it was coming with like a free lipstick so I paid two dollars cheaper with faster shipping but I didn't get a free lipstick so I was trying to like figure it out I was trying to use the code on the Amazon website and it was like code not valid so I guess I don't know I feel like you had to you, you know pay the extra money to get the lipstick but I don't need no more lipstick so I just went ahead and got it from Amazon. And I also got this two packs 
of Ardell Demi Lashes that I absolutely love. And this was 12 something. I want to say 12.48 or something like that. Which is crazy to me because just one pack of these are like $3.99. And I got 16 lashes for $12.48 or something like that. Like that's just crazy to me. So I jumped on that and I got it. And this was also, was it Prime? It wasn't Prime, but it came with the Sasha Brother Cup. So yes, it was Prime. I just didn't have it on the site. So yeah, that seemed like a lot of talking. I hope I didn't miss out on anything. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be doing a tutorial. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm going to be doing a tutorial using some of these products in the upcoming days let me know what you guys got in the sephora vib sale if you took part in that and let me know what's on your wish list at sephora they have some so many cute gift sets going around like i really want to just buy them all for myself but i'm just restraining myself i just cut it off because i'm done i'm done buying stuff for myself it's time to buy stuff for other people and i cannot wait like i love christmas because i love giving away stuff to people and I love seeing their reaction when they open the presents because I like to get like the best gifts. So I'm super excited about that. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. I like to try this on because if he can fit it then I definitely can fit it. So yeah he can't fit it so I know I can't fit it because our heads are super huge so yeah. very smart. <laughs> so make sure you look out for that. And let me know what you got um, during this, the, the, 